Our first alert team of meteorologists are tracking Hurricane Milton. Our chief meteorologist Scott Paget and meteorologist Brittany Rainey are joining us now. And and all of us, you know, have friends who are in that Florida area right now. I know we've all been reaching out to them. And for some reason, this just seems scarier, yeah. much scarier. It really does. And it's because it's such a powerful storm. I mean, when you were here yesterday morning, it was a category three by one o'clock in the afternoon at Cap category 5. Category five, yeah. With 180 mile per hour winds. And right now it still is a category four. We've seen those winds come down a little bit 150 but we're going to see that intensity varying it's going to go up a little bit it's going to go down a little bit but even as it gets closer to florida we're still likely going to have a major hurricane category three right as it's headed to Tampa and making landfall crossing over the state. And what's interesting, Brittany, and, and we want to focus on, you see it may be a Category 3. It's not a Category 5. You're thinking, oh, things are getting better, no. uh, but it's still a major hurricane. And what's interesting is it's pushing all this water towards the state, and so that water is going to continue to move its way towards the state. I want to break this down a little bit more for you, and sometimes you hear us talk about the dirty side of the storm. Yes, and those quadrants, the yeah, right and front the quadrant. quadrant. Yeah, the right front quadrant. So we're going to superimpose kind of like this graphic here for you, so you can see where Milton is now. So so it's on this movement. This forward movement is off towards the east and to the northeast. So the right front quadrant is here. It's the forward movement coupled then with that counterclockwise motion. So you have your winds, your tornado, your surge, your flooding. That's the worst side. And then you can see the right rear also pretty bad. Left rear, left front. That's going to be offshore. Uh, but still, the storm surge is going to be a concern, Brittany, as we're going to continue to see this water get just pushed onshore and towards Florida even days ahead of it. That's exactly right. And you know, it's really going to be focusing where we see that eye making landfall and then south just because of what we showed you. That's where we're going to have that onshore flow. It's going to be pushing several feet of water all along the west coast. So you can see that storm surge warning from sea Cedar Key all the way down to Fort Myers. As we take a closer look, Tampa Bay, it's very shallow. So that water, it piles up very And you quickly. lived there for a number of years. I did, yes. I actually grew up there. I worked there before I came here. And this is a storm, as we're talking to people, that they really do feel it is a lot scarier. This is one they really need to take serious and they need to get out of the way if they possibly can. And you know, a lot of times we see these coming on landfall just south of Tampa, and that's where we could get some of that storm surge closer to 10 to even 15 feet around Port Charlotte and even into Fort Myers. And that's all south. That's that right front quadrant. You know, so we talk about the Saffir Simpson scale a little bit more for us. And you know, a category one, you're like, okay, and as we're going to move through this, that's 70, 40, 95 mile power winds. Minimal damage. Yeah, okay, we can handle that. You know, some right. coconuts blown off trees, so, some, some palm siding. fronds as well. Category two, we see those winds increasing, but breeding when we get to a cat three status, that's when we start to see some major damage. Is that, that's exactly right. And you know, and this is just taking into account the winds, but you have to take into account the rain. We saw what it did through Carolina with Helene. You're going to get some of that inland flooding, and then you have to take into account the storm surge as well. So at a cat four, we're getting that catastrophic damage. And then at a cat five, I mean, it really doesn't get any worse than that. And just real fast, you know, we want to point out that we have the storm surge happening, Brittany, possibly up to 15 inches of rain that can't drain back into the Gulf because of the winds pushing it onshore. Exactly. And then we're also going to see that storm surge on the other side of the yeah. state as it exits. But